Tracking is a very popular feature with drones, but it is one of the rare traditionally weak point of DJI prosumer drones. In this video I will analyze Active Track, the intelligent flight mode for tracking autonomously a target. I will try to track myself driving and walking to check the new functionalities of Active Track, as well as the omnidirectional obstacle sensors. As usual, in the description below you will find links with information about the gear I use. The three main intelligent flight modes of the Mavic 3 are grouped under the name Focus Track, and they can all follow a target, but Attic Track is the only one able to track autonomously, in other words, without the use of the remote controller. Therefore, it is the one to use in situations where we are unable to use the controller. For example, while driving, cycling, walking while talking or interviewing someone. When tracking action and using the remote controller, I often find the mode spotlight more useful as it maintains the target on screen while we can perform all sorts of moves. I have made a specific video about the other two modes point of interest and spotlight. You will find the link at the end of this one and in the description below. Before starting a tracking session, make sure to go to the settings and in the control tab check the option subject scanning, so that the algorithm will identify trackable targets like people, cars, bicycles and boats and put a plus sign over them. All we have to do is click on the plus button to select the target. It is the only way to track a moving target and it works well most of the times. Notice that the option for object scanning is not sticky, so it has to be selected every time we start the tracking session. It can only be activated with the aircraft flying and not while recording video. Before tracking, double check in the safety tab that obstacle avoidance action is set to bypass in order to activate the new excellent APAS 5.0 system for obstacle avoidance. Also note that in case of troubles, in the safety tab there is a useful find my drone option, showing the position of the aircraft in case of a crash. It is even possible to have it flashing and beeping to help retrieve it. After selecting a target by simply clicking on the plus sign, we are presented with the usual box with the three functions of Focus Track. After choosing up the track, an icon appears on screen to select the desired direction of the drone relative to the target while tracking. We can choose to track from each side, the front, the back or the intermediate directions in between. This is a new feature and can be very useful if it works properly. When starting a tracking session, after choosing the direction and hitting go, the algorithm in the first few seconds need to evaluate the environment. It is better to keep the target clear of obstacle during that time. In this case, I tried to track from the right side and started the car right away with several trees between the drone and the car. The aircraft ended up losing the target, even though it can normally handle this sort of obstacles quite well. This time I chose to track from the front to give it a clearer path while starting. As you can see, after analyzing the environment, it makes its move towards the front of the car and glues to the target with ease. Now it meets several trees covering the target, but is able to reconnect the car as soon as the path is clear. There are some quite tall trees around the path, but I do not touch the remote controller, I let the APA system do its work, and it does an astonishing job. During the test it went around obstacles of all kinds without the slightest contact. I have made a video about the APAS system for obstacle avoidance of the Mavic 3 and I was really impressed. I simply could not manage to crash it. You can watch the video by clicking on the link on the screen now. 
Here I choose to track from the right side. As you can see, it switches very quickly to the new position and keeps tracking in spite of several trees between the camera and the target. Here the mountain road turns sharply to the left and I decided to move to track from the left to have the drone on the lower side. There are some very tall trees, so for a few seconds it remains on top of the car to avoid them, but as soon as the way is clear it moves to the correct position. Really excellent performance. Compared to Spotlight, Attitrack does a better job in finding the target after being obscured by obstacles. As you can see here, there are several bushes between the aircraft and the target, but the algorithm deals with them very well, anticipating the correct trajectory. We're in a different environment now. Let's see how the new active track behaves following me while walking on this beach. There is not a particular reason why I'm wearing a mask, I simply forgot to take it out. I start with the drone following from behind and it tracks me at constant distance and altitude. I then choose the right side and after a few seconds it gets in a correct position. I then try tracking from the front and then from the front right, probably the most interesting positions when following someone. From all directions the drone is able to maintain the position quite well and this is a huge improvement compared to the R2S where we could only choose between trace and parallel and the direction of tracking was a bit random. So far I've let the drone follow me in a totally autonomous way. Let's see now what happens if I use the sticks of the remote controller to modify the height and the distance from the target. I lower the altitude to have the aircraft at the height of my head. As you can see it remains at a constant height and displays on screen the distance from the ground. Now I get it closer to me and again it maintains the position. When I switch to the other side, it goes a bit further away from me and at a slightly higher altitude. I can also modify the gimbal tilt. Then I bring it much further away and higher up. As you can see in a follow me scenario, we have complete control of the behavior of the drone and the Mavic 3 maintains its position very well. Excellent performance! Next to the beach there is a wooded area with very thick shrubs and trees. Let's see if the Mavic 3 is somehow able to track me. It is very difficult to rain, as there isn't a real path. At first I tried tracking from the side and the result was ok, the drone detected me behind some trees, but when things got very thick it ended up losing me. Then I tried tracking from the front and for some reasons it worked much better. The Mavic 3 managed to keep track of me in extremely tough situations. Obviously, I'm not trying in any way to stay aware from obstacles, but the drone managed to find its way through very thick trees and shrubs without even touching a branch once. An astonishing performance. Click on this link to watch my video about the other two intelligent flight modes, included in focus track, point of interest and spotlight. Don't forget to hit the like button if you enjoyed this video.